Good afternoon, my family. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over each and every one who was led to listen to this video. In the name of Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. When I was 16 years old, I had a group of friends in high school. Most of them were a year older than me. And we used to play Dungeons and Dragons and uh, there was one point where we got together and we started playing with Ouija board. Now we did have some strange activities follow us after that. And one day when I was at home, I uh, had sleep paralysis. When I had this sleep paralysis, I couldn't move any part of my body. I could think totally clearly. I could look around, but I could not move, not even my tongue. In my head, I said the Our Father prayer. And as I was saying the Our Father prayer, I heard a, a voice laughing at me, laughing at my pain telling me to surrender and it would stop or if I didn't it would do worse I, I ignored the voice and I continued my prayer when I finished the prayer I said in my head I was able to move my tongue and it was at that time that I cried out to Jesus Christ I cried out Jesus Christ please save me and the second I said that I was freed. The other voice was gone and I felt peace. I felt peace and that I had been in a bit in a long battle. I was tired. I immediately got on my knees and I prayed to Jesus and I gave him thanks for saving me by his holy and powerful name. I've had many throughout the years come to my channel telling me that I should not be preaching the name of Jesus Christ but should instead be preaching Yeshua HaMashiach. But I have not been told that yet by the Holy Spirit. And that is the name that saved me. So that is the name that I'm sticking with. That is the name that had power when I needed it. I'm not the only one out there who's ever done this. I will list in this, in the um, description, a site called CE4, in which they talk about the UFO phenomenon and about how many abductions have been stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. Many of the UFO researchers throughout the years will not admit this publicly, but in private amongst themselves, speak about it. That's because it says we know who are here on this channel that they are not from another galaxy. They're from another dimension. And that they are the deceivers. They are the ones who we hear about in Enoch who came down and taught mankind Metalworking, women, the use of makeup, pharmacology, and they traded all these, all this knowledge for women. I want everybody to know of the power in the name of Jesus Christ and that there is power in his blood.
I have a message from our sister, Deborah Walden Fry. You dwell in my name. I'm sorry, I had to get a drink. In the spirit, I saw us speak in the name of Jesus. And as we did, shafts of light shot out into the darkness, making a way where there was no way. Beloved, do not fear those things that have come against you and those things coming upon the earth. For you dwell in my name. My name is a strong tower where you are safe. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every good and perfect spiritual weapon is at your disposal. At the sound of my name, every knee bows. Day and night, my lightnings go forth when you speak the name of Jesus. The power of darkness trembles at my name. You have ascended my holy mountain by the blood of the Lamb. Even above all, principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world against pictures and against spiritual wickedness in high places. You are seated with me in the highest place at the right hand of majesty. You will not be overcome. You will not be overcome. You will not be overcome, dear one. No matter what it looks like now, keep speaking my name. When you speak my name, mountains move, chains are loosed, darkness flees. It has no hold on you. Speak the name of the beautiful one, the powerful one, the almighty God. I lift the lowly one, the afflicted one, the lost and dying, the sick and weary. There is no one beyond my reach, no one who does not respond to my name. For all things have come from me. The created things bow to the creator. Have no fear, beloved. At the sound of my name, darkness flees. As is written in Proverbs 18.10, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs to it and is safe. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name above all names, that at that name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under, and under the earth, and every tongue, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Ephesians 6 and 11 For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Colossians 1 and 16 For in him all things were created, things in the heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together, and he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and firstborn from among the dead, so that in all things he may have preeminence. Revelations 4 and 5 from the throne came flashes of lightning and rumblings, the rolls of thunder. Before the throne burned seven torches of fire. This is the sevenfold spirit of God. Job 36 and 30. Behold, he spreads his lightning about him. Psalm 144 and 6. Flash forth lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and confuse them. My family. As with every word, go into your prayer closets for confirmation. And trust in no man and trust in no woman. But take all these words back to God, to the Holy Spirit, for confirmation. I know in the future they're going to be removing Bibles. I know that many religions say that Jesus Christ was just a prophet, including the New Age people who believe that we were seeded from people from the planet Pleiades. But that is not the truth. We know the truth. Jesus Christ is our risen King and Savior. Jesus Christ was the name that delivered me in my time of need. Jesus Christ is the name that I have taught my children. The name to call on whenever they are in trouble or whenever they feel fear. For he will deliver them. He will never leave us nor forsake us. 
Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I ask Father God to place this holy fire hedge of protection around each and every one of you, around your homes, around your children, and around your pets, around your provisions, around your places of work and worship, around your vehicles, and around your children and their schools and their summer camps and their babysitters. I pray he places the same hedge of protection that he did around Job and his family. And I pray that each and every one of you are doing well. Remember, speak life into your situations. Speak of things as if they were not, even if they are not, and you will move him by your faith. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Amen and amen.